Hey guys, welcome to the fifth video of my series on introduction to Matplotlib and in this video we're going to talk about histogram. So a histogram visually looks a lot like a bar chart but is theoretically different. A histogram is actually a diagram which consists of um, these bars which are actually proportional to the frequency of a variable in a given data and the width of your bars is actually equal to some class interval. So for example, let's say you have the data of the monthly salary of all the employees in a company. So what you can do is that you can go, you can have some intervals along the x-axis. So for example, here you have intervals of $25, so 800, 825, 850, 875 and 900 and so on. So in each interval, you make a bar and the height of that bar in this case is directly proportional or you can say is equal here to the number of people who have salary in that particular range. So this first bar represents the number of people who have salary in the range 800 to 825 in that company. So this is how um, um, you make uh, you show the data in a histogram. So now um, we are going to see how to draw a histogram using Matplotlib library. So first of all, we need to import the pyplot module as PLT. Then I have some data here, which is the ages of people living in a society, let's say. So in a society, um, a few people are living and I make a list which contains the ages of all the people. So now what I'd want to do is that I want to make a histogram out of this data. So the first thing that you need to do while making a histogram using Matplotlib is that you need to set the range of your variable. In my case, the variable is the age of the people. So I just set my range as 0 to 100, which simply means that I want to consider um, all the people who are in the range 0 to 100 in this data to be included in my histogram. Then the second thing that I need is the number of intervals that I want to have in my histogram. For example, in this particular diagram, from 800 to 900, there are four intervals. One, two, three, four. Each interval represents each bar. So basically, you can say that number of bars is equal to number of intervals. So now you can specify that by a variable called bins. So bins equal to, let's say, 10. So these are my um, metadata, you can say, about my histogram. Now, let me make my histogram by using the plt.hist function in which I have to firstly pass x which represents the variable values so that is just ages then I have to pass the bins which is the number of intervals and then I have to pass the variable range so that's all and now plt.show will show me my histogram so this is what my histogram looks like um, it might look a bit in unclear right now because the bars are actually quite joined between each other. So you can just set R width equal to 0 0.95 to change the width. And as you can see that um, the bars are looking a bit distinct now. So now you can just simply look at this particular histogram and get an idea that from the age range 40 to 50, most number of people are living in the society, right? A lot of people. So this is how visually you can try to get some understanding of your data like this. Now, um, one improvement that I can do to this particular histogram is that I can set my x ticks with these steps of 10. So because I do not have a 10, 30, 50, 70 here, I would like to have that. So you can just do plt.xticks in which I will pass um, the range functions which will give me a sequence so 0 to 100 steps of 10 so these are all the places where I want to have a tick along the x-axis so yeah that's it and as we can see we have got some ticks here you can also change the color of your histogram by setting color equal to let's say red so we get a red histogram so this is how you can make a very simple histogram by using matplotlib library in python if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video Thanks for watching.